And so we've come to the end of the road And I can't let it go It's unnatural You belong to me I belong to you That's right folks, we have reached the end of an era Join me as we discuss the end of Arrow here on Comic Universe What up, guys, and welcome to the Web's first must-see comic and nerd culture show. Welcome to the comic universe. I'm Dr. J. I've got a PhD in nerd culture, and I should know, I've printed it out myself. Hope you guys enjoyed that intro. That one was just for my 90s babies out there, or any of my classic R&B fans out there in the universe. But yeah, we have reached the end of an era, ladies and gentlemen. The end of the pillar of the Arrowverse, Arrow itself is ending with season 8 and it is having a 10 episode shortened final season. Now this pretty much lines up with the fact that we are going to get 9 episodes leading up to the crossover which is usually around episode 8 or 9 and then maybe one or two epilogue episodes. Now this is something that many fans have speculated on and predicted ever since our last crisis um, or our last crossover episode, which was Elseworlds. And ever since the Monitor and Ollie talked, and Ollie gave that speech about how the world needs hope, the world needs people like Barry and Kara, and so he is willing to do whatever it takes to keep them there. And I believe that this is Ollie making a deal to sacrifice himself so that Barry and Hera do not die in Crisis on Infinite Earths in the same way that they do in the comic version of that same event. Now, this means a lot of different implications for the Arrowverse. With Arrow gone, what is going to happen to our other characters like Renee, like Dinah Drake, like... Uh, Emiko Queen, we see Ollie has a few daughter in the future, Mia Smoke. What is going to happen to our Arrow characters? Now, obviously, there are a couple su uh, suggestions here. They could move on to other shows. There could be an Arrow spinoff, possibly focusing on the future. Because they've already started to set up the future world, which personally would be my pick. I think the future world is really interesting. I would like to see a kind of future Arrowverse, kind of like, imagine like Arrow Beyond with like an older Roy as a mentor and you got Mia Smoke, you got William and Zoe as the new generation team Arrow along with Connor Hawk. That would be so cool. That's personally where I would go. Now, I, they could also move on to other shows like maybe Legends. A few of them could go to Legends and different things like that. But who knows? Um, but from what I can tell, it looks like since it's going to be a 10-episode season, we're going to lead up to Crisis on Infinite Earths. That's when we're going to lose Ollie and maybe the last episode or the last two, depending on if the, uh, the Crisis episode is going to be on episode 8 or episode 9. We're going to have the last couple episodes be an epilogue that will, you know, obviously show the aftermath of Oliver Queen's death and possibly lay the groundwork for the future spinoff and or uh, where our other characters will, you know, venture off to. Now, my money is we're going to get a spinoff because Arrow is a moneymaker. It is a long-lasting show that has stood the test of time. It has lasted for seven, now going on eight years. Now granted, not all of those years gave us quality. Season one, I think is still pretty bad. Season two, amazing. Three, all right. Four, not so much. Five, we're starting to get okay. Six, decent again. Seven, is starting to get good. 
So, we are setting up a lot of interesting stuff moving into Season 8, especially since we are focusing a lot on the future, which is why I definitely think if we are going to get a spinoff, which I am like 85 to 90% sure that we are getting an Arrow spinoff, that we'll get one set in the future. That way, it doesn't have to like overtly connect to the Arrowverse, but we will get to see another side of it, which is going to be really cool. We get to see something different. And I think that could be the way to go. But uh, that's pretty much it for this video, you guys. I just want to give my quick speculation. Talk about the end of one of my favorite shows. Yes, I will still say Arrow is one of my favorite shows. And I got it's honestly, a majority of it is a nostalgia thing. Because Arrow was one of the first shows I ever reviewed on my YouTube channel. And it really uh, got me started in the game. So I will always have mad love for it. The actors are great. You know, the material may be a little inconsistent, but, you know, I still love the show and I am going to miss it. Now, what do you guys think about this news? Are you happy that Arrow's ending? Do you think that Arrow's going to get a spinoff? What do you think is going to happen to Ollie? Uh, let me know all those thoughts, theories, feels, and speculations in the comments down below. As always, don't forget to uh, take your bow, notch it, and hit that like button. Um, as many times as you can because we really appreciate it also be sure to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you get notified anytime myself dpz or c dubs upload a new video for you guys because we got plenty of content um notched and ready to go um and you best believe anytime there's new big arrowverse news that i think is definitely worth covering and discussing with you guys i will be back to talk about it and we've got a bunch of other great stuff coming for you guys too, including a big giveaway uh, in celebration for us reaching the big milestone of 1,000 subscribers. We are going to give away a free copy of Detective Comics issue number 1,000, the second comic ever to hit that big milestone of 1K. We are going to be giving away as well. And, little bonus points, we are also going to be giving away an exclusive Funko Pop of the Batman Who Laughs. Yeah, you can see what it looks like in C-Dub's video explaining the giveaway. But trust me, if I didn't already work for the channel, I would try to enter to get that. That thing looks really freaking cool. So, go ahead, uh, try and enter the giveaway. Um, I will link the video in the cards to explain how to enter and all that stuff. But, uh, long story short, all you got to do is get a friend to subscribe, family member, whoever, and comment on our videos. It can be anyone. It could be this one. It could be the one explaining the giveaway itself. Any of the, uh, any of the videos that come out in from the announcement of the giveaway up until the giveaway itself um, are eligible for you to gain more entries to the giveaway. And... Another way to gain entries to the giveaway is by following us on our different social media platforms. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, we've got it all, and they're all linked down below. So be sure to check those out. Now, with all the plugs out of the way, uh, this is pretty much it for uh, this review. Again, let me know all your thoughts and feels about the ending of the Arrowverse in the comments down below. As always, hopefully I didn't fail this video. And until next time, I'm Dr. J. And hopefully I'll see you in the universe. Peace.